Let, I, want, I want to read this. If I was involved with Bitcoin, I would have sold it 16000 not held it until it went all the way back down to whatever it is at now. All right. Crazy new idea, guy. Here's Joel Clack <laughs> talking. Idea, is this a Denver Post or the New York Post? New York Post. Okay, this is a New York Post. I'm going to read this. It's a newspaper out east. A lot of people read it. Uh, quote, I think that teams are starting to get burned by retaining their old school values yep. when it comes to player evaluation, says yep. the Clatster. I just think that old school mindset has to adjust because the NFL has adjusted it for them. I understand why somebody would think that way. I disagree with it. Clat on why he loves Kyler Murray, who is 5'9 and has bulked up to 205. Okay, great. Are we are we rebounding? Are we what are are you telling me that all the game of football right now at the quarterback position is really played in three veins. Can you distribute on time and on target? Those are the three things that you've got to do. And Kyler Murray does those better than any other quarterback available in this draft. If he can see over the line. He doesn't need to. He, oh, yeah, that doesn't matter. Those guys are only 6'7". First of all, there's only a, a, a very select few, a handful of guys. Listen, you, you can be six six foot, six one. I'm r- right about 6'1", six 6'2", six even, and not see. The linemen are like 6'5". Okay, so it's it, it's a huge myth that it's like, well, if you're six foot, you can see. If you're six one, you can see. No, you can't. You throw to spots. You anticipate windows. You anticipate windows based on the 22 chess pieces that are on the field. So don't give me this. you got to see. Hey, by the way, you played baseball. Yeah. You can tell me about your slitty and your split-fingered. If you can throw 97 and the guy can't contact. Kurt Schilling was a, I'm going to throw it by a guy. That's why he was great in the postseason. Okay. Tim, Tim Wakefield was a, you ever notice Tim Wakefield in the postseason? Not very yeah, good. Yeah, because Greg Maddox threw it so hard. Uh, by Come the way, on. that Bra- out, yeah, by the Braves won championship, best staff for twenty years. Maddox is the greatest modern day pitcher in history. Oh Lord, I, I, there were years I didn't like him as the best pitcher on his staff. Oh, you're so you, you are you, so out of touch. Oh, you smoked. you're like maybe you're you've like heard the of Giants him. right now. You're to a segment ago, you're railing on them holding on to Eli. And you're like, oh, congratulations, Eagles, congratulations, yeah. Cowboys, and now you're sitting there. You're like, I'm Dave Gettleman. Ah, you got to be six five. No. Burr, 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 burr. But, but say, I, I don't understand this say, because listen, you understand that the game of football right now is played in those three veins. Can you distribute on time and on target? There's no one that does that better than Kyler. You're saying I'm not that, saying he's historically great. First by of the all, way. he's just the best available quarterback in this draft. This quarterback class is average. Yeah. The Giants made a massive mistake. Last year, we had four guys, five guys, and they can all play. I agree with that wholeheartedly. This is not a great class. I, it, you can disagree with the Giants' philosophy a year ago and love Saquon Barkley, which I do. He's a deserving rookie of the year. He's a phenomenal person, player. I think he's a foundational piece. But running backs don't impact your win-loss column like quarterbacks do. Therefore, the Giants made a massive mistake last year, and I think they're going to make a massive mistake this year by just writing off Kyler Murray based on his height. Okay. And you're doing the same thing. I'm not writing him off. I think he's an NFL player. Uh, I think in this really weak, I only like two guys in this entire quarterback class. I'm with you on that. Dwayne I, Haskins and Kyler Murray are uh, my favorite two guys. Yeah, Haskins is uh, a true pocket guy, almost yeah. unathletic. In fact, throws my knock on him is uh, when he moves, his accuracy dips dramatically. Footwork is certainly a question. I think that he is a he's a developmental guy. He needs to go in under a coach and maybe a starter that can allow him to develop a little bit. My my thing with that is there's nobody in this draft at that position except for Kyler Murray that makes your team better the first day he steps on it. Arizona, you have the pick. GM, do you take him? Absolutely. What do you do with Josh Rosen? I trade him to New York because they're hung up on height. That's what I would do. And here's why. Because I think quarterbacks in the, in, in the modern day NFL, and I think Brady and Belichick, you can, you can say that they're not modern. They're absolutely modern. They're maybe more modern than anybody in the game. Why? Because they are so agile in terms of their schematics. Think of how, how many different styles of schematics they've used to win Super Bowls. And they continue to morph and adjust based on what the league gives them, based on what their roster gives them, and they go out there and win. That match is is made in heaven, not because just Brady is great or just Belichick is great, but they're great for each other. Brady doesn't care the style that he uses to go win. He can throw it to Moss. He can throw it to Welker. He can throw it to Edelman. Belichick, by the way, requires that out of his quarterback. So my whole contention is if you're Cliff Kingsbury, it's not about you. It's about the match. You've got to have a guy that's going to take what you believe and go put it out there on the field 
to the best possible um, efficiency that he possibly can. And I think that's Kyler. I, think- I know what Cliff runs. Kyler fits what he does perfectly. That's why he recruited him to Texas A&M before he went to Texas Tech in the first place. But what I am saying is we're throwing out size. Again, you're a baseball pitcher. If I said, okay, I'm going to ask you that. You have to be honest with me. Okay. None of this just throwing stuff into the ether like you're some crazy radio voice. This is real journalism. <laughs> <laughs> Big J. Big J yeah, journalism. This, this show is about getting it right That's all the right. time. That's right. So if I said to you, uh, uh, any pitch in baseball, okay, any pitch, if I said, God gave you one great pitch, what would it be? Slider. Oh, give me a break. How many... You wouldn't take a 98-mile-hour fastball? Do you know how many guys throw 98? All of them. All of them. Go to any double-A game or high single-A game No, I have there. a social Every life. I don't do that. Every single one of them is Nuke Lelouch you, throwing at guys' heads. They're hitting the bull. They all throw 98. Maybe you should go to fewer double-A baseball games. Uh, That's I your wish problem. I could have. That was, that was my problem is I was in far too So you're, you're just what – you, what I'm saying is you're just everybody throwing height throws, out. Everybody throws 98, but the ability to control a slider is what gets people out. You have to have an out pitch. Just like as a quarterback, it doesn't matter how tall you are or how hard you oh, throw it. On. It matters how you distribute the ball on target and on time. That's how Drew Brees – so are you telling me that you wouldn't have taken Drew Brees? You wouldn't have taken oh, Russell God, you, Wilson? Oh, everybody's a genius now with Drew Brees. Everybody's a genius now with Brady and Russell Wilson. But that's what broke the mold. Why would you stay in some old mold that wouldn't have valued Russell Wilson or Drew Brees? No. Clearly, the modern-day NFL is different. Patrick Mahomes is not a giant. He's 6'2 and a half, 220 with a cannon. I mean, I think 6'2 and a half is generous, but... Kyler Murray is an anticipatory thrower. There has never been a better running quarterback coming to the NFL draft. Is he better than ever. Lamar Jackson? Absolutely, in every facet. He's a better runner, he's uh, more dynamic, and he's a much better thrower of the football. I agree with that. I think he's better on both accounts than Michael Vick, who was a unanimous number one overall Oh, pick. come on, slow down. Michael Vick, <sighs> Michael Vick had a really strong arm, really strong arm, a howitzer. Okay, Josh Allen-esque. I mean, this dude could throw it. But as a runner and a passer, Kyler is better than Michael Vick was. There's no question. Go, uh, go Joel. watch. Joel. Go watch. Joel. Go, Joel. What? Hey, this isn't chap sticking sausage fingers in the morning in Clovis, New Mexico. <laughs> you got, this show's to, a big deal. Wants, have you guys watched Kyler run Come the on. Oklahoma, everybody at Oklahoma, every quarterback everybody. Lincoln Riley's had is amazing. Go to East Carolina. Those guys were great. I'm, I'm Lincoln not Riley's talking about amazing. That. I'm not talking about that. And no, those guys did not distribute like Baker. You, you Listen, you fought okay, me who's better? a year ago. Baker, Kyler Murray. I would take Baker. I would too. He's more accurate with the football, but that doesn't mean that Kyler and is not And he's bigger accurate. and stronger that and thicker. That doesn't matter. How many doesn't. devastating hits are quarterback taking now versus what they did 10 and 15 years ago. Now, you, I tell you what, you go watch all the tape of Kyler Murray and show me the last time he took a devastating hit. Hey. Oh, it doesn't happen because he's quick as a kid. No, it doesn't happen because he's playing Texas Tech. And the whole yeah, Michael Vick thing, Joy, it's absolutely it true. It one devastating yeah. hit it's, in the NFL. It's, it's absolutely true By that Kyler is a better runner than Michael Vick was. Oh, And he's a better yeah. passer than Michael Vick oh, was as well. Lordy. Vick had a really strong arm. This conversation is giving me anxiety. You guys are so hung up on his height that you don't, you're not even seeing the clear but things that are sitting in front of you. You know what you Get remind me of? Get some of those Michelin wiper blades right now, please. <laughs> no, because you, you know need you, them. You, you remind me of every girl that dumped me. They would always come up oh, to me and say. Oh, they were so smart. Look no, at you. No, they would come up and they'd say, he has a nice personality. What they wanted was the hunk with cheekbones. It matters. In the end, that guy always comes up, and the girl's like, oh, I like the guy with the personality, and he likes animals, and he's so sweet. And then they go off with a hunk. Why? Because it matters. I don't know what's happening here. All I, I know is, is Michael Vick was transformed amazing. the league. And, and yes, why he did. do we always do this? He's not played one second of NFL football. If Michael Vick and Kyler I said Murray. when they were coming out. If Kyler Murray all, and so Michael there was, Vick. There was a clear preface to what I was saying. Kyler in college was be- a better runner than Vick was ah, at Virginia Tech. Ah. It's true. Listen, go watch it. You're so hung up on 5'9", you can't even see. Anything in front of your face right now. Get out of the fog. Both of you. I don't even care. I don't <laughs> care about his height. I was just telling Colin, his his height and his weight don't matter to me. You're not going to change his body type. So stop selling me on the fact that it he, doesn't matter. It does matter a little bit. But sell me up. on what he does other than his height and, and weight. What, I, what, what is his, how accurate is he? He's the running, very accurate. The running he, part of it doesn't matter to me He's the either. most accurate quarterback 
in this draft. He's also, with his height that you guys keep knocking, and I, I get it, you're not as, as big of a knock on his height. He's also the guy in this draft of those top quarterbacks that had the least amount of passes batted down at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, that's he and a Dwayne good one. Haskins only had five passes no, that, that, batted down at the line of scrimmage. That's your bed. took us 38 minutes to get to your lead. That's your best one right there. <laughs> oh, it, the oh, first 37 it? minutes was height doesn't matter in the NFL. And you're over here talking about cheekbones and puppies. I don't, know, I don't, I don't understand what's going on. The hell is going on with this show? Goodness At gracious. Clovis, New Mexico's best rock. <sighs> I'm exhausted from I'm, you. I am exhausted. I feel like I'm playing cards with my brother's kids right now. <laughs> okay, get out of here. All right, Joel Klatt, Fox. Hey, when's the draft anyway? April 20 what? Can't wait for it. God, I can't I'm so wait excited. for it either. It's, uh, it's in Nashville, which I'm super oh, excited about. Oh, what a about. great city that um, is. Yeah, I can't wait to get down there. All right. Good stuff. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.